In this lesson, I want to introduce Hold Winter's forecasting method, which is also known as exponential smoothing with trend and seasonality. As the name suggests, this forecasting technique is powerful and suitable when demand exhibits trend and seasonal variations. Let's take a look at a sample data set of quarterly demand observations spanning four years. In this graph, we notice a positive trend. That is, demand is increasing over time. In addition, we can clearly discern seasonal patterns that are repeated each year. These observations make this data set a prime candidate for the application of Hold Winter's forecasting method. To begin our exploration of how this particular technique works, let's take a look at period 5, where demand was 310 units. Notice that period 5 is the first quarter of the second year. Now let's look at demand in the first quarter of year 4, which is period 13. Demand in this period was 346 units. Notice that we observe the same seasonal peak in both periods 5 and 13. In addition, the increase in demand over these two years is an indication of the positive trend. What all this means is that we can, at a conceptual level, break down each demand observation into a base level, a trend component, and a seasonal component. Let's take another look at period 5 and visually identify the base level as well as the trend and seasonal components. For now, let's not worry about how exactly we can do this. We're only interested in developing a conceptual understanding. To that end, Let's also look at, say, period 15. Again, we have a base level, an added trend component, and, in this case, a negative seasonal component, since demand appears to drop in the third quarter of each year. We can similarly decompose each demand observation in our dataset into base levels, trend, and seasonal components. With this done, we can now extrapolate. That is, we can develop a forecast for some future time period. The unique feature of Hold Winter's forecasting method is that we can separately forecast what the base level, trend, and seasonal component will be in that future time period. And our forecast will then simply be the sum of all three components. So to recap, Here's how Hold Winter's method works from a conceptual standpoint. First, we decompose past demand observations into base levels, trend, and seasonal components. I will show you just how this is done in a separate Excel-based video demonstration. Second, we extrapolate each of the three components. That is, we estimate base levels, trend, and seasonal components for future time periods. Third and finally, we form demand forecasts by summing all three elements. In summary, the whole idea and the power of Hold Winter's forecasting method lies in the explicit modeling and extrapolation of three key patterns that often explain variations in demand over time.